What's up, CrossFit Federal Way? It's Friday, we're at the end of the week, we're almost to the weekend, although for some of us, every day might feel like the weekend a little bit, I don't know, it's weird. So, um, with that, today's gonna be a little bit complicated in terms of how the workout goes, and there's a lot more thought um, that you're gonna have to put into your workout while you're doing it, but that's okay, it's gonna be fine. It could work or it could not work at all. Um, either way, we'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, we try this and we find out that it was just too much, too complicated. Um, but I'm gonna break it down. So today's gonna be five separate EMOMs. Yes, you heard that right, is every minute on the minute um, with three different movements. You have a minute rest in between each EMOM. So how this is gonna work, let's look at the first one. We're gonna do a five minute EMOM of backpack push-ups. On your first minute, you're only doing five reps. Now you get to set your weight on your backpack. So this can either be like really heavy, really challenging reps or not. Now, every minute on the minute after that first minute, you're going to add five reps. So minute one is five, minute two is 10, minute three is 15, 20, 25, and then you're done. Now, when we're scoring each of these, if you look at my score at the bottom before we get to the other two, you'll see that I have the round that I completed on each of these movements written down separately. The ones that are RX, I did to completion. Um, the ones that, the one that isn't means that I didn't make it through my set of 25 backpack push-ups. I hit failure, I couldn't finish in that minute. Um, so I finished my set of 20 and I get to put that down because that's the last round that I successfully completed. So um, now that is not means to quit just because you do 20 and then you get ready for that minute on 25 to do 25 push-ups. Uh, that does not mean that you just get to like not do any work. Try to get as many reps as you can. Um, you're gonna get more out of this instead of just being like, well, I can't do 25, 20 was too hard. I'm just gonna quit and I'm just gonna rest that minute and it'll give me an extra minute of rest. Don't do that. Try to get as many as you can. The point of this is to be riding that line of either I'm very proficient and I'm gonna get through everything and the intensity level is gonna be fairly high or I'm gonna ride that line of failure and I'm gonna end up finding what my capacity is on those movements. Um, and depending on how much weight is in your backpack, then you're probably gonna figure out what that is a lot faster. Um, so anyway, we're going five, 10, 15, 25 for the five minutes of backpack push-ups. We're gonna then rest one minute. We're gonna start another five minute EMOM. This time we're doing backpack up downs, similar to a burpee, but without the push up. And I'll show you what that looks like with the backpack here in a second. This one, I'm gonna start with four reps and I'm gonna add four reps every minute. So that's gonna be four, eight, 12, 16, 20. In this case for me, I finished my round of 20. That means that I get that RX next to my score for that second round. Um, now, we're gonna rest a minute again, and then we're gonna do another five minute EMOM. This time it is V-ups. We don't need the backpack. This is just body weight. Um, and on, on the first minute, we are doing 10 reps of V-ups, and we're adding five reps every minute. So this one's gonna go five, 10, or excuse me, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 V-ups in a minute is a lot, so you better be a lot more proficient at that. Um, but we're gonna really attack that core at the end of all of this. So, again, you can see I made it through my, if you look at my score, my, I haven't actually done this work yet, yet but my supposed score um, on the board, then if I have the 30 with the RX next, but that means I finished my set of 30 in that five minute AMRAP, um, or not AMRAP, excuse me, EMOM. Um, I finished my set, of, or my set of 30, that last minute. I finished that, so I get the RX. If I didn't finish that, you would see a 25 with no RX next to it. Make sense? Okay, let's talk a little bit about some movement standards. I know this is complicated in terms of how this works. It's really not as complicated as it looks. Just try to think of each EMOM individually. Don't worry about the reps and all that stuff. This one, I'm just adding five every time. This one, I'm just adding four every time. And this one, I'm just adding five every time again. So um, now let's talk a little bit about movement standards. Now backpack push-ups. Again, weight your backpack however you want to. You can make this really challenging. You can make it a little lighter, but I'm going to wear my backpack and do some regular old push-ups. So hands are about shoulder width apart. Toes are together. I'm keeping myself in a, in a plank position. I'm going to go down all the way till my chest touches the floor and then back up to full extension. Every single rep should have my chest touching the floor every single time. 
Um, don't short yourself on these things. Um, and have a plan on how you're gonna break this up and rest. Sometimes a little bit of a shakeout and back to it is all you need. So if you're trying to get through a big set with very little time on the clock, if I'm hitting failure, that rep gets really challenging, I'm gonna sit back, I shake it out, take a couple breaths, and right back into my next one. So um, the trick here is 60 seconds is not a long time. It's anytime you do an EMOM, they always start off feeling rel relatively easy, whether we're doing one rep every minute, or in this case, we're adding reps every minute. Um, so they're gonna, they're gonna build in the, in the challenge factor every single minute. So 60 seconds will go by that fast. You have to keep moving. Now, let's talk a little bit about backpack up-downs. So an up-down, like I mentioned, it's like a burpee without the push-up. So with my backpack, I'm gonna grab on either side. I'm going to put my backpack on the ground and then I'm going to kick my feet back, bring them up, and then deadlift my backpack up. So that's a backpack up, down. Again, starting with four reps, adding four every minute on the minute um, for those five minutes. And then rest again and we're going into the V-ups. Now the V-up, I don't have the prettiest V-ups, I will preface with that, and that's okay. If you don't have the prettiest V-ups like me, just do your best. Or if you're Amber, they're perfect every time. Anyway, so, laying flat on the floor, my goal is to hinge at my hips, and I wanna touch my hands and my feet together, or at least get them close together. So V-up's gonna start from the hands on the floor, and I'm gonna sit up, and reach for my toes for every rep, if I can't do V-ups, tuck-ups are totally okay. So, a tuck-up, I'm gonna start here, and all I'm doing is up and bending my knees. So similar motion to that V-up, but this time I don't have to reach my hands up, and I'm not trying to keep my legs straight. So if you know that I can't do V-ups, or maybe the V-ups get challenging partway through this workout, and then you can't sustain that anymore, totally okay to deviate to a tuck up instead. It's gonna be less energy expenditure. You're gonna be able to move a little faster. Um, still won't be an RX for a tuck up, but that's okay. So um, that's what we're getting ourselves into. Again, this one's complicated, but take it each section at a time and uh, you'll be just fine. Score today is you either make it through or not, but put the last round that you com successfully completed in that 60 second time frame on for each. So you're gonna have three separate scores, one for push-ups, one for up-downs, one for V-ups. Um, yeah, should be a good time. Let's get after it.